yo, yo, let's go running with me together. It is around 3 p.m. and we're gonna go for a run. And the weather is beautiful again. Oh my god! I woke up pretty sore and pretty tired this morning. Two trainings yesterday, training day before, match day before. So today is just a bit lighter. Uh, I've already done my recovery, so 30 40 minutes from rolling, massage, all that kind of stuff. Now it's just literally a 20 minute run. That's it for today. Hopefully do some game brain analysis later in the evening, but that's it. That is it. I've uh, got a lot of work to catch up on. I've got a highlight video to finish off. Got uh, a few calls to make, stuff like that. So that's it. Let's go for this run. Oh man, the beauty of Switzerland. If you look carefully, you can just see the mountains in the, in the background there. And boy, is that beautiful. Done. All right, if you guys remember this, we had Steve Corns from Stoke City, first team analyst for Stoke City Premier League Club, and he was in with us talking in a, in a webinar about Lukaku. This was day 11. You can go back to day 11 if you want to check it out. But you guys who watched the webinar and watched this episode would have remembered Lukaku. So the funny thing about this clip is that I just showed Steve a random clip and he had to analyze it and pick something out. He picked out here, Lukaku's movement. And then he connected it to something that he saw online. And now he's done this whole Game Brain video of it. And now I'm just gonna show you a few snippets of that Game Brain video, which you can find in Train Effective. Um, really interesting stuff, check this out. In today's video, I'm going to be expanding on my recent webinar by talking a bit more about Romelu Lukaku. And how so what do we take from that? It's important to always be available to your teammates to pass to. Never stand centrally when pinning your marker. They could easily pinch the ball through your legs. Always look to receive a pass on the angle to allow yourself to hold the defender off and keep the ball away from him so he can't make a tackle. Pinning a defender side on allows you to roll your marker much easier create an extra yard of space from your marker. Let's take a look at how Lukaku puts this into match play. This first clip is almost a mirror image of what you've just saw in the masterclass. Lukaku makes himself available to receive the pass from Bain. As the ball travels into Lukaku, himself side onto the defender to stop him from getting to the ball which allows him to easily roll him. Now using his sheer strength and power, it enables him to hold off the defender long enough to create a shooting opportunity for himself, which he takes clinically. Too powerful, too quick, too <laughs> It's important to create that half a yard from your marker by using fake runs, which can be seen on the game brain to enable you to get shots away at goal. Watch how Lukaku quickly shifts the ball to the side of the defender. And bang, almost in one motion, he strikes goes this. Look at him, but you know where the ball is. And then that would be my problem if I looked at the keeper. I don't know where <laughs> no, the ball yeah, would be. You have to have that, that, that composure, you just freeze him. So go on, you show me again. There it is. Premier League masterclass. Look to freeze the keeper before shooting. Once the keeper has stopped and is set, this is the time to shoot at goal. Try pausing or making a feint before shooting to try and force the keeper off balance and not in a position to save your shot. Follow these key points to improve your playing from the goal. It goes to show the hard work Romelu Lukaku puts in day in, day out on the training pitch. And from the clips you've seen, practice does eventually make perfect.
So yeah, that's just a few snippets of the video. If you want to see the full video, it's about 15 minutes long. That is on the Game Brain. Check that out. I'm hungry. Time to eat, time to eat. Let's see what we got for dinner. Do you want to say? I don't have to show you. You can just say what it is. Go. Okay. So this is a lentil salad with obviously lentils, tomatoes. You have your bit of feta cheese. Like little pieces mm. of feather cheese. Yum, 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 now yum, you yum, have yum, some yum. avos. Avos? Yes, here. See? Avocado. With, yeah, avocado. Oh my god, we eat too much of that. And then like carrots. Carrots. Yeah, and we have paprika. The little pieces here. It took me like, I don't know, to slice, maybe 15 minutes. And with our Italian dressing. Can't wait to eat. So, effective fam, you saw. In that salad, we didn't have any meat. Would you ever consider being a vegetarian? That's meat. That means eating no meat. Would you consider it? Say it in the comments below.